welcome to Sharmila's Kitchen. Today I am making Kaju Barfi. It's also known as Kaju Katli, which literally means cashew fudge. We mostly have this cashew fudge during festivals like the Sera, Diwali or Holi. So let's get started with our ingredients. The things you need will be 200 gram cashew, some silver varak for garnishing, cardamom powder from this cardamom pots, butter or ghee to grease the pumps and the parchment paper as well, half cup of water and one cup of sugar and I also need some parchment paper. Blend the cashew in a blender and make fine powder out of them. I am going to put half of the cashews so that it can blend well and let's start blending. You should blend it in one motion. If you overrun the blender, the cashew will become oily and pasty. You won't get the powder form. See the cashew has blended well and become powder. Let's take out in a plate. After blending the cashews, you may find some big cashew granules in the powder. So save the powder to remove the granules. What happened is it will not look good or taste good if cashew granules left in the burfi and you can't overrun the grinder as well because as I already told you if you run the grinder for long time you will get cashew paste not powder for that some granules will remain so it's better to save the powder you can again grind the cashew granules and put in the korma or any curry the curry will be delicious so we got nice and no granule cashew powder now proceed the next step that is making the sugar syrup for 200 gram cashew powder take 100 gram of sugar and 50 ml water for this kaju barfi the measurement is very important if you put the ingredients little much or less the taste and texture both won't come out good we don't need to make hard consistency sugar syrup just let the sugar dissolves completely in the water then we will put the cashew powder I am also going to add cardamom powder or if you have only cardamom pods just crush them and use in this syrup as we add little water in the sugar syrup it will be thick very quickly now this is the right stage to add the cashew powder keep the flame medium to low and stir continuously let the cashew powder cook in the sugar syrup and keep stirring very important the bottom should not stick to the pan initially the mixture will look thin but after two to three minutes the cashew mixture will become thick it will start leaving the sides and come together just see the mixture is coming together so this is the right time to take out from the pan put in a grease plate I already greased a plate with little butter you should not let it stay in a pan because the pan is very hot and the mixture will take time to cool down. It looks like thin mixture but as soon as it cools down the mixture will become hard. Just stir it, see. It is hardening and looks like a dough. So after 3 to 4 minutes knead the mixture. The mixture is still hot, you can see my palm become little red. But don't worry, it's not too hot to handle. Don't need too much, only the upper surface should be smooth. And it is looking like hard dough. Now grease the baking paper with little oil, ghee or butter. Now I'm going to put the cashew dough on that paper. Cover with half of the baking paper. Start rolling using rolling pill until 1 4th inch thick. Make sure it is even in each portion. The crack will remain at the edges, nothing to do. So this is done. For garnishing, let's cover with chandika varak or silver leaf. Actually this is not mandatory. To be frank, silver varak is difficult to get in the local store. My father-in-law got it somewhere from retail store. But if we imagine silver leaf coated kaju barfi first comes in mind like we always see in the sweet shop. 
so i want this recipe to give very authentic and beautiful silver varak is generally covered with paper you should not touch it directly otherwise it will stick to your hand very gently you should handle it along with paper put the silver leaf part down and cover the kaju parfi after that let it cool down completely it is now in room temperature so first cut the uneven edges then diagonally to give it barfi or diamond shape as it is called kaju barfi now the kaju barfi is done you can make was best kaju barfi if you follow these tips and tricks and i hope you enjoyed watching this video if you like this recipe give this recipe a big thumbs up share comment and subscribe to sharmila's kitchen i'll see you next week till then take care and bye bye so guys here is a small announcement for you to let you know what is coming up on my next episode along with this kaju barfi recipe 99th episode has completed and i am very happy to say that without your love and support it couldn't be happened seriously next week means on my 100 episode i'm going to be using this kaju barfi recipe to make a very beautiful youtube dessert because 100 recipes should be very special and memorable and this would be the best recipe to make the 100 episode very special and i think this is the first time someone is making youtube dessert using indian top 3 best sweet recipes so don't forget to watch don't forget to subscribe to sharmila's kitchen